show you how to make an animal sculpture using foil. I'm going to make a metal ox to celebrate the spring festival. Take a piece of foil and tear from the long edge towards the middle. One section is going to be your head, another section is going to be the legs and then tear towards the middle again to make a section for the body and then leaving a section at the back for the legs. So then you turn round your foil and do the same on the other side. So tearing from the long edge towards the middle but not all the way into the middle. And repeat this again a bit further along and again a bit further along. have two flaps in the middle that you've scrunched together to make the body, two flaps at the end which you scrunch together to make the head and kind of fold the head or lift and fold the head towards the body and scrunch the remaining foil down to make your legs so these are the front legs and then there should be a bit of extra foil towards the back which you're going to scrunch to make your back legs so now it looks like your animal is laying on its back with its legs out either side. So then just fold those legs together like you're folding your whole animal in half. And then you should be able to just give it a little squish and a pinch. Arrange your legs a little bit more and then you should be able to get your animal to stand up on its own. Right, the next bit, get another piece of foil and tear or rip strips. We'll need a few of these and pop them to one side. But taking the strips one by one, wrap them around your foil body. And you can squish and scrunch and mold them till you get the shapes that you want. Because I'm making an ox, I'm going to add a little bit of a hump onto his back. So I'm scrunching a little bit more there. Um, I've got quite small hips, so now I'm going to add a little bit more around the legs. And just keep doing that until you have the shapes that you want. What I found quite useful is to look at pictures of the animal that I'm making, so it gives me a good idea of the shape that I want it to be. So I'm just going to keep building it up with more strips, sticking one end on first and then wrapping the rest of the strip around to bulk out the foil sculpture. I just keep pinching and twisting and squishing and remoulding my foil until I get the right shapes. I'm pretty happy with that shape now and I want to add some horns. So I'm going to take another piece of foil and then roll it and twist it and rub it between my hands to get a kind of horn shape. This one piece will make two horns. And then when I'm finally happy with that shape, I'm just going to find the middle bit, so the centre of my kind of double horns, the bit that would attach to the head, and um, take another strip of foil, wrap it around that, and then wrap that foil around my puppet's head so that then hopefully it will be attached really securely. So I might need to add another piece of foil another strip just to make sure it's really secure and then once my horns are on I'm going to mold them push them wrap them around my fingers to make sure that they are curly and they're all in the right place you can use this technique to make lots of different things it doesn't have to be an ox and it doesn't have to be an animal you could make heads or feet or you could make whole sculptures it's entirely up to you So now I'm going to make some ears by taking another strip of foil, moulding my kind of ear shape at one end, putting that into position and then wrapping the foil around my puppet's head and around the body to make sure it's really well attached. I'll do this again with the ear on the other side. Okay, so now I'm just going to give everything a final pinch, make sure I'm happy with it and check that my ox can stand up. And there we go one metal ox. Watch the next video to see how I've used this foil sculpture as the basis for a more detailed polymer clay creation.